Psych2Go is a digital media organization that raises mental health awareness by presenting psychological topics in a digestible and relatable manner. Please share our content with those who need it. It's a great way to show your support to us as well. According to the CDC, 9.3 million adults in the United States have reported having suicidal thoughts in a year. But what are suicidal thoughts? It means thinking about and planning a suicide attempt. Having suicidal thoughts does not mean a person will carry out the act. The CDC also states, males are four times more likely to end their life, while women more often have suicidal ideations. The following is a list of 17 things that contribute to suicidal thoughts. One, chronic illness. Serious medical conditions may cause people to think about suicide. Depending on the severity of the illness, people will consider suicide as a way to cope with the mental and physical anguish they're going through. At times, people can come to believe that suicide is the best way to deal with long-term deterioration. Two, mood disorders. Disorders such as major depression, bipolar, dysthymia, and seasonal affective disorder can contribute to suicidal thoughts. The dangers during a mood disorder occur when people are coming out of deep depression because they have more energy to carry out their thoughts. Three, psychiatric disorders. Disorders like schizophrenia come accompanied with hallucinations. The hallucinations may direct individuals to commit suicide. Schizophrenia, among other psychotic disorders, have high rates of suicide ideation because those who struggle can lose touch with reality, not knowing what's real versus what's not. Four, impulse control disorders. Some people can be more impulsive than others. Those that are tend to not focus on the consequences of their actions. They are reward-based driven, meaning they're more willing to participate in dangerous behaviors, such as suicide. Five, abuse and trauma. Sexual, physical, and emotional abuse increases suicidal attempts by two and a half to three times. Abuse has long-term consequences on a person's life. Depending on the frequency and severity of the abuse, the person will, in some cases, think about suicide as a way to cope with their pain. In many cases, this is a symptom of post-traumatic stress disorder. Six, domestic violence. Survivors and victims think about suicide as an escape from their terrifying situations. When a person is immersed in a violent relationship, they often believe suicide is their best or only option because they fear that their abusive partner will find them and hurt them or kill them themselves. In unique but not uncommon cases, the fear of not having support, employment, or an education to survive on their own adds to this feeling of hopelessness. Seven, access to weapons. Firearms can increase suicidal ideations and attempts in people who are struggling with mental or physical illnesses or substance abuse or difficult situations in general. The reason for this is sadly because people know that the use of firearms will highly increase their chances of success. Eight, stigma. Unfortunately, nowadays the stigma that surrounds mental illness and suicide causes people to not seek out help. The longer individuals go without receiving help, the higher the chances their suicidal ideations and attempts will increase. Nine, family history of suicide. Children and teenagers learn through observation and modeling. If they've been exposed to family members or close friends who have attempted or died from suicide, this can increase suicidal ideation because they indirectly believe it's an accepted way to cope with their problems. 10, relationship problems. Problems in a relationship or the ending of one come accompanied with emotional and mental anguish. People who deal with uncertainty in their relationships can become overwhelmed. Feelings of abandonment, Worthlessness and guilt may contribute to suicidal thoughts. This usually occurs in the person who is being broken up with. The person who does the breakup in most cases has already gone through the grieving process. 11, bullying. According to the CDC, approximately 4,400 people commit suicide per year due to bullying. This contributes to feelings of unworthiness, low self-esteem, depression, anxiety, and hopelessness. In severe cases, those who are being bullied can come to believe suicide is the only way out of their torment. 12. 
Difficult life events. Stressful or traumatic life events can have, and often do have, lasting effects on people. These can vary from natural to man-made disasters to being diagnosed with a terminal illness. 13. Survivor's guilt. Survivor's guilt occurs when people survive life-threatening events while watching others die. This makes them feel guilty, and in many cases, it's difficult for them to forgive themselves, and suicidal thoughts may occur and increase as time passes by. 14. Poverty. Low-income families are at high risk of suicide. This is due to not having access to resources. Many individuals don't have food, income, or housing security. This comes accompanied with stress and depression. When you don't have your basic needs, it is very difficult to think straight. So many who are struggling with these issues believe that suicide is the only way to solve their problems. 15. Past suicide attempts. Those who have attempted suicide are at a higher risk. Teens who have prior attempts are three times more likely to try again within a year. 16. Substance abuse. Did you know that alcohol is actually a depressant? Alcohol and other drugs increase suicidal ideation, especially in youth and young adults. Alcohol and drugs mess with the balance of neurotransmitters in the brain. They fill you with dopamine and then leave you depleted. The depletion of dopamine is called coming down or crashing. This is why you may feel anxious when you wake up the next day hungover. And this is why most addicts keep looking for the next high because the low seems unbearable. 17, prescription drugs. Did you know prescription drugs can cause suicidal ideations and even depression? This isn't to scare you off. The right medication and dosage could help you feel better. But at times, mixing different medications can worsen suicidal thoughts. It's important to monitor yourself along with the help of a doctor to prevent these symptoms. To conclude, it's important to remember that suicidal thoughts are symptoms of underlying issues, and they can be treated. You can get help. Suicide is not the only way out, and you're not alone. In this day and age, it is all too common for people to think about suicidal thoughts. But with help and support, we can and we will find our light again. If this sounds like someone you know and you'd like to find out more, we also cover a video on 14 ways to tell if someone is suicidal. You can find that video in the link description down below. And remember, it was like to go, sharing truly is caring. Every share keeps us alive and it could help keep someone else alive. Thanks for watching.